Is your food safe? It's an age-old question and one brought to the forefront again this summer with headlines like these. The EPA issuing an emergency order for the first time in 40 years. Or a substance found in rocket fuel is also found in mac and cheese. So can you really avoid these toxins? Is paying more for organic actually worth it? Something I wanted to look into, yeah. and I found out, Ginger, it is complicated, <laughs> like everything else, mm -hmm. right? So buying organic food will definitely reduce your exposure to synthetic chemicals, but the USDA is allowing hydroponic organic farms, which some local farmers say do not have all the benefits that you have come to expect. Only in the United States is hydroponic allowed to be sold as organic. Hugh Kent owns the King Grove Organic Blueberry Farm in Eustis. You can't do it in the EU. You can't do it in South America. You can't do it anywhere in the world but in the U.S. His 200-acre farm has been in his family for more than 100 years. This is what 15 years of stewardship of the soil looks like. And in order to get that coveted green organic seal, farmers like Kent must follow a long list of strict requirements, including not using most synthetic pesticides. These plants are all growing in soil, as you can see. So this is a rich, dark, carbon-filled soil. The black in there is carbon. And you can see that this is looks and smells like real soil. But Kent says in the past few years, international agribusinesses have built these massive hydroponic farms looking to cash in on the organic label without doing all the hard work. There's a big industry growing hydroponic tomatoes in the Netherlands purely for export to the U.S. to be sold as organic. They can't sell it in the Netherlands or anywhere else in, the, in Europe as organic, but they can send it over here and label it as organic. It's a topic he regularly speaks out about in podcasts and to farming groups. The way uh, they farm is that they take a piece of land and they compact it and laser level it and then they cover it in plastic. Then you don't have to use herbicides and now you can call yourself, according to the USDA, a certified organic farm. Kent believes hydroponic farms, which often produce food in plastic containers without nutrient-rich soil, do not provide the same nutritional or environmental benefits that organic consumers have come to expect. I am here to make sure that when an organic consumer makes that choice, we are here to protect it. Jennifer Tucker is the deputy administrator of the National Organic Program at the USDA in Washington, D.C. I spoke with her via Zoom. While USDA does allow hydroponic farms to be certified as organic, Tucker says they are also regularly inspected and tested for prohibited synthetic chemicals. So what happens when something comes back positive for a banned substance like a, pest, a pesticide? Um, it is rare to find uh, these residues on organic uh, foods. So if it has found to have been uh, an intentional or even an accidental use, it can lead a farm to lose its organic certification because consumers do take this so seriously. And a teaspoon of this are 8 billion microbes. Kent is hopeful the USDA will one day adopt the recommendations from its own National Organic Standards Board, which supports banning hydroponic farms. I don't have a criticism of them as a farming system per se. The criticism is that they shouldn't be lumped in and hide behind the organic label. So it was wow. very eye-opening, and I could have talked to him for hours. In fact, I did, but yeah. I had to condense it down. Now, in a statement, the USDA tells News 6 it has not researched the nutritional or environmental benefits of hydroponic farming. However, Kent is part of a group called the Real Organic Project, which is adding its own label, which you see behind us right now, to food grown on farms that they have certified as being the traditional organic farms like what he has. And we've put a link to that organization on our website, clickorlando.com. There are 1,100 farms that they have certified already in the United States that are doing it in the traditional conventional way you think when you think organic. I, I have to say there is something to the dirt, having something come from the earth. And you and I could that's from my childhood right mm -hmm. there. We would grow things and it has a different taste to it. We never got sick as kids. And that's exactly what he would say. And he said all of those microbes that are in the soil, that's what you need in your gut and your health starts yes. there. And it's, you know, it's it's a big cycle. I mean I joke and I so. tell people we ate dirt growing up. Which is good. We, that's why <laughs> you're so healthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It was eye opening. We have lots more mm -hmm. on clickorlando.com. I can't wait to watch the rest mm -hmm. of it. It's really fascinating.